Kevin Smith lied. He said it was He-Man. It's She-Man. Uh? That's right. It seems like our uh, I don't I wouldn't call them friends yet, but uh, the people over at Clownfish TV were right from the beginning when they got a leak that said that this is basically Tila's show. Uh, if you know anything about He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, this show is just Masters of the Universe Revelation, and Kevin Smith, the auteur, has been caught lying. And we get, have proof. Get ready for some scissoring action. So much scissors. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to look at this here. Oh, my God. We're going to oh. read. Yes. Some hard these are These are some of the reviews that have come up, and we're going to show you the, the Rotten Tomato score in a second. But this is, this sums up pretty much what people are seeing. We're going to hit some hard hitting Rotten Tomatoes reviews. Oh my God, blow that up. I can't read that shit. You can't read Vukem? I got it. So Vukem, Vukem as I like to call him. Vukem. The story is basic. The woman feels betrayed because the guy she friend zone leaves her to selfishly die. And thus she... Becomes a lesbian. Oh my god, she becomes a lesbian? <laughs> Quits her job. She had a job? <laughs> and gets a bad hairdo. Tale as old as time. This is the tale as, as old as time. Obviously. Wait, hold on. Women didn't have jobs in, in the back in days, so that can't be this that old. This is Eternia. Oh. They have all sorts of jobs. My god. So Amazing this show jobs. went feminazi. I well, everybody's saying it's Tila's show. The, the critics love it. It's a ninety-four percent critic score. The critics absolutely think it's wonderful. But even IGN, I think, said it. They're like, basically, it's Tila's show, and that means that the audience and all the other channels that we know, like Geeks and Gamers, might even been Clownfish, The Quartering, all those guys already reported out that it was at forty-one percent. Well, we're here to report to you. That is dropped like a rock down to 20. It was actually, I think when we posted it on Instagram, it was 25%. Yeah, it went up a point. It went up one whole point. I went and liked it. The, <laughs> the audience score has just bombed this thing down to 26%. And I think that's because they feel it's a bait and switch. They saw a trailer, and in the trailer, they, they played the song, We Need a Hero. Yeah. And we watched it. And there was man in it. Yeah, and there was He-Man in it. Yeah. And apparently He-Man is not no, a part of this. It's just the She-Man. It's just eventually going to be She-Man. The Shim-Shim. Which is Tila. Yes. Do you know anything about He-Man? I don't. He is a man and he has a sword. And he says, I have the power. And he goes to Castle Grayskull. And stabs Skeletor in the butt. <laughs> I don't think that's what he does. What does Skeletor want? Like, what's his goal? World domination. Oh my god, Chris Wood is he man? Yeah, whoever Chris Wood is. That man is super gay, but he's married to oh Mel my god. Melissa what? Benoit. Benoise. Benoise. Supergirl. Okay, well, it looks like, uh, let's go here. We are going to. Looks like, uh,. Bounding into comics has uh, Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe is getting review bombed on Rotten Tomatoes. Highly, even they are not quite where we are reporting this. It has dropped like a rock, as we said. It's at 97%, it's actually 94%, and a stunningly bad score of 38%. We have it at 26%. We're following the story very closely. Dude bros are mad. They're being pissy about He-Man. <laughs> is He-Man even conspiracy. a good show? Like, why? Are the original people... He-Man? I don't yeah. know. A lot of people bought the toys, and that's what they they want to do, and that's where they're saying that He-Man is not actually in He-Man. It's just Tila. And Tila was in the older shows. Wow! Somebody's review says it's the equivalent of Spider-Man Aunt May movie. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! They hate women. Wow! This is going to be. It was. The, imagine if this was the first Spider-Man movie. And this is a quote. And it was going to be about Aunt May and her quest to find a new Uncle Ben, while Peter Parker <laughs> is weak nerd most of the movie, and we barely see the villain and hero battle. So you barely get to see uh, Skeletor or He-Man. 
they said the property is used as a big Trojan horse sneak in a Tila series. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That oh is brutal. Oh, my God. So, Kevin wow, wow, Smith wow, wow, is wow, a wow, wow. sellout piece of shit. He's a cuck. He should have died of a heart attack years ago. Wow. Instead of, like, cucking up. like He, was he man is the most masculine of men, and somehow he managed to demasculize yeah. a man. He would have beat the shit. He would have Chris Brown, Tila. I mean, people are only, like, that's the whole reason to see He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Is to see He Man do yeah. awesome things. Love it. Like, do like, oh, this review is like, I know bait and switch is an oft overused phrase when it comes to casual critiquing of media, but seriously, if there was ever a reboot deserving of the criticism, it's, criticism, it's this show. If I could rate this show zero stars, I would. Wow. So basically, the only people that like the show are woke, stupid bitches. It would appear so. I feel like IGN, they liked it. Well, IGN's woke, stupid bitches. Yes, they are. Yeah. Imagine if your He-Man toy, you were like super excited to go out and buy your brand new He-Man toy with Battle Cat. Mm -hmm. And instead of getting He-Man, they were like, no, we want you to buy Tila and not Battle Cat. I'd just be like, just fuck. Tila. I'd be like, fuck this. I'm getting Thundercats. Snurf. Snurf. Snurf's the best. Oh, then you know they're going to ruin that next. Like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh, no. Then I'll be pissed. I don't give a shit about He Man. Don't ruin Thundercats. And what's interesting, it was born out of, you know, the massively su successful Mattel, Mattel toy line and ran for 130 episodes. Holy cow. That's a lot of episodes. But it was so popular amongst boys and girls that they made the She Ra show on top, which. Netflix supposedly ruined. I, I know, I know I watched it, but even look at this. IGN gives it verdict. They're like, it's, they say it's awesome. Superbly fips, flips the script on the mythos and characters. And then it, it, do they give it a rating? No, nah, it doesn't look like it. No, but even here, they say basically this is Tila's show. And yeah. IGN loved it. They just love women. Wow. Because if they don't, they're misogynistic. Yeah, but only women that look like men. They don't like... Tila... I had a Tila action figure. She was very slender and very attractive with large bosoms. And this one's very thick. Oh, my gosh. And She's muscular. The, and she has, like, the typical shaved one head side. Of, oh, remember that review? It was like they gave yeah. Tila a bad haircut. Yep. And then she goes full uh, lesbian. Oh no! Did Which is nothing lesbian? wrong with that, but I like lipstick lesbians too. They are real people. They need to be represented. There needs to be more lipstick lesbians. Ah, uh, not just battle cat lesbians. Battle pussies. <laughs> battle pussies. <laughs> Supergirls, Chris Wood. I don't know if I want to watch this now. I am going to have to watch this just to give you guys a review. So. um yeah, Kevin Smith, what a liar. I mean, he straight up, he went, so just to give context to this too. So the channel, uh, Clownfish TV, got a, a source that told them that they, they were going to flip the switch on this and have it be Tila's show. And uh, Kevin Smith came after them on Twitter and was like, you guys are liars, you guys are scumbags, you're blah, blah, blah. He went, to, he went hard in it. He's like, He-Man's in every single episode, except he's not He-Man. I think he's just Prince Adam and has no powers. So he's been straight up called, uh, called out as a liar. He even, in his own podcast, he said he's not that much of a He-Man fan. And then he's like, now, when he went out for press junkets for this, he was saying how much of a huge He-Man fan he was, and he was even misquoting the the years that He-Man was aired. He had it; he missed it by a couple years. Like, come on, bro, just be like, "Yo, I wasn't like the hugest He-Man fan, but I've come to like He-Man." And we're gonna call. See how they bait and switched you? They called it Masters of the Universe, not He-Man, because they knew they would piss you off. In fact, I think uh, Yellow Flash called this. Uh, the last He-Man, just like The Last Jedi. Oh, my God. Yeah, he went hard in the paint. Hard pass. Yeah. So, we've out news the other news because everybody else is talking about it being at like 50 and 40%. We're down to 25%. 26. 26%. So, you got to hear first from Our Reviews Will Kill You. But uh, subscribe to all those other channels because they're pretty cool, too. But we subscribe like to us first. Oh, yeah, because we need more subscribers because we we're not even close to where those guys are.
So anyway, uh, catch, if you like what you heard here, make sure you catch our live podcast stream. We do a full-length audio podcast released on all platforms that podcasts come in. And you'll catch us there on Friday night, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, which we'll do live on YouTube. But otherwise, you can catch it anytime you want if you subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Spotify, blah, 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 Yeah, and just blah, 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 blah. beat that like and subscribe button like He-Man should have beat Tila out of his own show. Absolutely. Yeah. And then share said beating with all of your friends. Mm-hmm. Because share. it would be like Chris Brown sharing Rihanna with all his friends. It would be. And she has definitely been shared multiple times. Oh, my God. She's a whore. Oh, that is alleged and not true. And it's not very made. true. Pretty she sure got, she likes to be whipped. She got fat. Oh, my God. That is also yeah, no, not she very nice. Fat Jamaican. No, she just nice and thick. Nope. Oh, my God. She nice and unhealthy. Oh, fat. my God. Anyway, we're, uh, we're on to the next one. Bigot. Bigot. <laughs>